Remember I said the process of incarnation when I did the introductory DVD? I haven't explained a lot of complexities about the process of incarnation. And to be honest with you, it's probably not best at this point to explain them all either because they're, very quite, they're quite scientific and mathematical anyway. But to understand that the process isn't just a process of attraction, it's also a, process, a mathematical process of incarnation. So God has created a process that's very, very similar in nature to a, com it's a combination of law of attraction events, scientific and mathematical processes that create the incarnation process of the soul. So whenever, whenever a male and a female on earth get together and have sexual relations, the creation of the, the child automatically attracts a soul. Right? Now that soul doesn't have a choice of the attraction because it's an, it's, a, it's an automatic process that God has created. That every single soul that yet to incarnate in the spirit world will have to go through this process of incarnation. Right? And so it is drawn to the creation of the child, the physical and spiritual bodies. And it attaches itself to that. Now, many times, a person who aborts a child is not aware that they actually do have longings to have a child. But then the fears kick in once they find out that they are pregnant. Do you follow me? So, so many times, a person will feel like, yes, I do want to have children, or I want to have children later on, or I feel this desire to have a child, and so forth. And many times, these longings are present. And that causes, of course, the, the incarnation process to occur as well. So the law of attraction is a part of this scientific process that occurs that allows the incarnation of the child. So every single soul unincarnated in the spirit world must incarnate. And so they are always hovering about the earth plane, as the earth is often referred to, as a soul, being drawn. It's like a, a sucking process, if you like, where the, where the half of the soul is connected to, this, to the bodies that have been created. Yeah. yeah, the soul, remember the soul at the point of incarnation, at the first incarnation, is not self-aware. So therefore it doesn't understand its own free will yet. The whole process and the whole point of incarnation is to learn about free will. So, so if you're if you're aborting a child at the time or shortly after incarnation, you've actually interrupted that process of it learning about itself, and now it has to go through this, a, a different process now in the spirit world that would normally be the case that it would have on earth. And and it is a hard thing for that child to go through those things. And I have talked to some who have gone through it as a miscarriage. And we'll talk about miscarriages as well, perhaps, as part of this discussion. But uh, a miscarriage is, often, often, is obviously different from the parent's point of view than, a, than an abortion, because one act is deliberate, whereas the other is unintentional. Both are very much emotional, but one is deliberate, one is unintentional. Matt, sorry?